So I'm inviting Alex Canara, a friend of mine, Dr. Canara, Thank you. who has uh, been very kind to me and has helped me look out 20 years into what kind of technology we are developing right now that would give us safe, clean energy. And you helped me by explaining the technology for me to make this, what is that? Okay, well, Michael, this is a, an example of advanced energy generation from nuclear power. And this is a depiction of a kind of nuclear reactor that was developed in the 1960s by the inventor of the present type of reactor, which you represented up here with a life ring around it. And this is called the molten salt reactor. So rather than having a solid fuel of uranium that you exploit to generate heat, uh, this has a liquid salt which is pumped through the reactor. And the salt has several advantages, one of which is that it's very good thermal fluid, and so it can transfer the heat from whatever fission of uranium is occurring inside the reactor to another stage like a turbine that generates electricity by turning a generator. So this reactor was invented in order to simplify, make more efficient, and improve the ability to create a system that didn't require operator intervention if something went wrong. So you've depicted it here as this pot of salt, if it got too hot, the pipe would melt and it would all run down into this storage facility underground. In fact, the machines that were built in 1960s in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, uh, when they shut them down in December of 1969, uh, that's what happened. They just let the salt run out into a storage tank underground, and it's still there. So there was no danger to anyone. Uh, this is called something called walk away safe. The operators don't have to be present. If something goes wrong, the reactor shuts itself down automatically. So currently, reactor design using water, which makes steam, is fine, except that water only has a 100 degree centigrade range between solid and gas steam whereas salt has a 1,000 degree centigrade range. So that's why you have a huge safety uh, limit. And you also have the ability, since it's a liquid, which is really important to chemists, to be able to extract from the salt at any time as it's running whatever it is that you want to extract. You might extract isotopes for medical purposes. You might extract an isotope that would hurt the reaction. All sorts of things can be done because it's a liquid and chemists love liquids. And that's really why this type of reactor was designed in the 60s. The Chinese are now taking our design and running with it. So by 2023, 25, we expect to see the Chinese building this type of pro prototype reactor. So we should certainly be funding it ourselves. That's uh, a given, I think, if we want to make some progress against the monster, because the monster is, is, is there. It's not going to go away. Is there anything? Uh, yes, I'm just going to say a few things. So this is a cross-section of this reactor. Yes. And we're looking at the top, and that white is molten salt. The sure. It, you, right. you indicated this as, as white uh, for the salt. And you could think of yeah. this as this is the source of the power, the uranium, yeah. let's say, in the salt. And then the whole thing is a vat of liquid salt, and that's, okay. that's pretty good And this is a dispenser that sort of moves back and forth, putting more of the thorium fluid in each of these. And here's one coming out. And here, it got too hot. It got a little dangerous. It melted the pipes. Everything collapsed into this. The, oh, there's no dome to explode or whatever. And so, right, so this is a non, there's no way in which you can make this device okay. have an explosion. And that's, that's the real benefit of using liquid salt in particular. Right. And uh, as I said, the thermal efficiency is great, and that's what we want to do. Alex, wonderful. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You.